Okay. So this is a this is a story about a girl named Lucky. Actually, it's about a girl I know yeah. from college. Okay. I won't say her real name, and her real name no longer matters because she is currently in a cult. Oh, so she okay. has a cult name. She has a cult name. Her name is um uh Radhad Deluri Dazi. Um this is her. She's very lovely and sweet. Okay. Adele Dazi. Um Adele Dazi. <laughs> Adele Dazim, mm-hmm. she made a Gangsta's Paradise parody of um, worshipping her cult leader. And it goes like this. What, uh, angle it out. To take a look at my life and realize it's blessed Cause I've been praying and chanting so long That even my mama thinks that my mind is gone But I ain't never found the joy in the material world that Oh, she doubled down being Krishna's girl Krishna Give Krishna all your actions and fruits of actions And soon you'll receive his divine attraction The path can be tough, but I persevere the leaders of the Lord is all I want to hear. Hari, praise the Guru for his divine intervention. She doubt that Ani's love is beyond comprehension. Count on grace for a chance to serve in Radha Krishna's paradise. Uh, <laughs> this is Krishna Pate is coded. I'll send. I'll send that to you, Olivia. Um, I love that. So that's that's something that's. Oh my god! I almost sent the video back to her. <laughs> oh my god! No. And I'd be like, great job, girly. Great job. Great this job. rocks. How can I join? <laughs> <laughs> How quickly do you think you guys would join a cult? I don't know. I think I've watched too many cult documentaries. I, I, I don't. Do you see me in a cult? Yes. Really? Yeah. Why do you see me in a cult? Because you like rules. <laughs> yeah, I do like I do like rules, but I I also conflict with a lot of them. If I, if I have an issue, I'm going to bring it up. I think you I don't might. Think I think you might join a cult, like before you even know it, though. <laughs> I don't know. Like, go both, on. Like, like you would, you would kind of just like fall into it. Like you'd be like, "Oh, I like these people." Oh, like before you even realize that the. Oh, and then I'm in too deep, cult. and then I feel awkward, and I feel and like, "Well, I gotta stay in. I can't leave to, now." To not go to the mixers. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, oh, "It'd be rude to call this a cult." It'd be rude. To, it'd be rude to, to tell them I'm not going. People yeah. would be like branding the the people in the cult. You'd be like. Hey, that's a little fucked up. They'd be like, "That's wrong of you to say." Be like, and then I'd be like, Sorry, "Yeah, you're, you're right. right. I'm so wrong I for don't saying know your that." Customs. Yeah. Yeah. I think I would join a cult. And I, I got like Hit- Hitler's testicles on my arm. <laughs> like, well, that's the brand that you have anyway. If Welcome you're... to Two Nosy Meerkats. Welcome to Two Nosy Meerkats. We are Hitler's testicles, <laughs> left and right, and center. And seam on the scrote. <laughs> I'm the seam on the scrote. She's the seam tying it all together. Today we have Olivia back on the podcast. We do. Hi, Olivia. Hi. How you doing? It's just doll? us kids. Just us kids. Pretend I'm not even here, kids. No, no, no. We know all the attention's on you, babe. What's your deepest, darkest secret? I don't know how to ride a bike. Wait, really? No? Have you ever tried? Yeah. What's <laughs> happened when you tried? I mean, well, not as an adult. Things. There's some rips in the space-time continuum. <laughs> Not as an adult, but I guess around the time my dad was dying was around the time that you learn how to ride a bike, mm. and then we were busy with other stuff. Right. He couldn't be teaching you. Sad. While he died. Trash. Wow. Trash. And that's your fault. Yeah. <sighs> I shouldn't have, it shouldn't have... Shouldn't have gave him the cancer. <laughs> <laughs> It was just a gift. He meant well. Yeah. It, it was a Father's re- Day present. He really took it too seriously <laughs> when he got it. It was a Father's Day present. He's like, all right, I'll take all it. Right, I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be a good dad. I think it's pretty girly pop of you to not know how to ride a bike. Yeah. It's like dainty. It is a little dainty. I yeah. feel like, well, yeah. there's girlies that like ride bikes with dresses. 
Yes. Like, I'm like, that's pretty like a city but bike. But they're disgusting. <laughs> well, my butt's too big to fit on a bike seat anyways. Hey, so oh. I feel like that's not true. I bike everywhere. You've made you've made of those similar ass. We do. <laughs> but oh whoa. <laughs> yeah, your underwear was showing for a hot sec. You should get a matching tramp stamp. We should. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wait, can, Wait. I get, can I get the Mets? Yeah, yeah, you can get the Mets. Oh, I'll my God. Them make them one. fight. Oh, my God. We can do butt bumping. Wow. <laughs> I mean, you already could. That's it's true, a free country. No, but it'll be better when I have Mr. Met on my tramp stamp. Oh, yeah. You love Mr. Met. I love Mr. Met. Yeah. Do you? Oh, that's I, my man. Wait, you guys have a long and happy man? life together. Would you get a tramp stamp of Mr. Met? Uh... I think I would. I, think I would get a, okay. I'd get a tattoo of Mr. Matt, like just for the fun of it, like yeah. old school, like cartoon Mr. Matt, not like neat, like not a, the gritty reboot Mr. Matt. <laughs> yeah, not a twenty four's Mr. Matt. A twenty four's Mr. Matt. <laughs> he's Mr. Matt, but he's also on drugs. Played by Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy Chalamet's in it as his yeah. son, his troubled son. Yeah. Dad. Just on drugs again. It's the exact same movie as he did with Steve Carell, but yeah. it's Mr. Matt. Oh, yeah. Oh, that my movie. God. What was it called? Beautiful, Beautiful Boy. Boy. That's it. Beautiful Boy. That was the Boy. Q&A where I was like outside talking to Timothy Chalamet when we had that weird interaction. Oh, right. Because you oh. went to high school with him. Yeah, it was that one. I think yeah, we she never brings it. it up. Oh, when your dad was like, hey, Timmy. Yes. Yeah, yeah oh, I never bring it up. And he was like, wait, that's someone from my past. Yes. <laughs> Chris Schur had one of the best roast jokes of me where I'm... Um, she st- she said um, she did like eight jokes in a row about how I loved Twilight, <laughs> and she did one that was like, you know, Gabby actually ran into Timothy Chalamet once, and she said hi, Timmy, and Timmy said, "Is that Twilight Girl?" <laughs> <laughs> but this was after like eight jokes of calling me Twilight Girl, oh weirdly God. worked, I think, because it's so real. You are Incredible. a Twilight Girl. You've still never watched it. You've never I've, watched. I've it? seen the first. Okay. Well, the rest of them, I would vomit if you tried to show them. Well, to me. then we should show you. Do you have any thoughts on the first one? Thoughts on the first? Uh, it happened. What do you think? Say say what you want. Much like I the Holocaust, so, it did happen. I, shut up. I think it's so camp. I think that's it's why they so took photos good. throughout the filming of it to make sure that people knew that this happened, <laughs> that this movie was made. I think Twilight Twilight is like coming back post ironically i think it already did too like it's been back it's been back um between irony and genuine yeah oh yeah yeah like post ironically people are like starting to love it again but also for what reasons it's real because it's so bad no no would, then but then it's ironic that you're oh, love yeah, for yeah, it. yeah yeah but it's also coming back post ironically guys I, I will not tolerate twilight cider no we're not i'm saying i love that shit it's so campy my mom fell asleep during the first one I love your that mom. That makes sense. She missed out. She did miss out. It the was, baseball scene. It was crazy. <laughs> the baseball scene is so good. So many people. That's so you to so love. So many people's sexual the baseball awakening. Scene. I really want to get that outfit. <laughs> what outfit? <laughs> what fucking outfit? The outfit that Alice is wearing. Oh, hold on. I think the food is here. No, the the one. Hello? Yeah, that Alice is wearing in the baseball Hello? scene. Okay. The little skirt and like, you know, she's like, I'm a baseball player, but I'm a vampire, so I hit the ball like so far. That was like one of my favorite things about Twilight was Stephanie Meyer was like, okay, I guess they're so good at baseball. Okay. Vampires are amazing at baseball. Yeah, she really wrote this book for you. She did. Oh, Lucas, you don't know. 13 year old me. So horny reading this book. Oh, my God. I, were, 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 you, were you jacking it to this book? Be honest. Look me in the eye. No, I didn't jack it until I was really old. Wait, how old were you? when I you was first... like 14. Oh, my God. I was 15. Look at us. So pure. I know. And look we at turned us. out fine. We did. Look at us. We're Yay. so well adjusted, We're healthy. So well adjusted, easy, not neurotic at all. Yeah. <laughs> what compelled you? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's what? just, just Wait, like a what, little late. What compelled me to start masturbating? Yeah. Oh, it was um it was it wasn't that I was compelled, it's that I had worked up I, I was so afraid to do it for some reason. <laughs> That's so you. Yeah, I was like afraid to start. I was What's like, oh my god, happen to me? what does this mean about me if I do? You yeah. know? Yeah, I I don't know why I I wasn't raised religiously, but I I did grow up with like a very deep internal shame, 
And I thought that it would be bad if I did. I kind of grew up with internal shame, too. I was very scared to do it. And then... Olivia, how old were you when you first masturbated? Don't ask me that question. <laughs> <laughs> I was 17, listener. <gasps> Whoa! Well, I was on Prozac from the ripe age of nine, oh. so oh, I, yeah. I just didn't. I never even. I was like, "This messy. I don't want to do that. My hands, my hands might be dirty. That's gross. I don't know." Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I don't yeah. even. And then I, with start, all the Olivia started, juices on them, <laughs> and then I started like, like, like maybe 16 was the first time I was just like, I was just like, oh wait, no, I do want someone to touch me there, and mm. then. Preferably, most likely a man. Yeah, I yep. want a man to touch me there. And then, like, 17, I was just like, I did a lot of research before I did it, too. I was, like, Googling, like, what's the best practices? Um, <laughs> what are the terms and conditions? Do I, have to, do I have to sign something? Should it be notarized? <laughs> oh, this reminded me of this, and I don't know why. I think because of um, Googling online best practices. <laughs> but, uh, oh, but I was on... I was on a Reddit argue the asshole, which I've never yeah. been on. Have you ever like been on that? Yeah, I've been on it. I've I had read. Just, I had just heard you're literary, you're scholarly. No Twilight, but Reddit. No. And you know that I. You know that it's like so hard for me to read a book. I cannot. Yeah. I can't do that. But shit. you can. Huh? I mean, you don't yeah, sure. But you can. Uh, but you can read Reddit. I can read Reddit. Yeah. Reddit's a little easier. It's also you can change like. A book you can't change like the the spacing of the mm. lines, whereas Reddit it's digital, so it's like it's so free form. Yeah, <laughs> you can you can change the the browser window size. It's ugh, yeah, it's the world's your oyster. Marth Roth, Mark Marth Rothko, <laughs> Marth Rothko could never. <laughs> Sorry, I think the edibles just kicked in. Marth Rothko. <laughs> when you said Marth, I was like the character from Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> yeah. Marth. See that I don't know. I didn't know there was a Marth in Super Smash Brothers. Oh really? Oh, it's a good character. I know Kirby. I Very know good Bowser. with a sword. Shh, shh, shh. What? Say it. Yeah, Kirby Bowser. You're doing great. Mario. Yeah. People don't like playing as Mar. People are like, you're boring if you play as Mario. Does everything have to be all whimsy all the time? Yes. No. No. We can. It's okay to play as a little guy sometimes with a cute little mustache who's a plumber who gets a hot girl. He does get a hot girl. It's okay. And no one is talking about this. <laughs> People are like, oh, don't play as Mario. Well, don't tell me what to do. I love playing. I'm going to double down on the stands. I play Mario Kart as Mario every time. How? What? What's the ratio of like Mario, uh, Mario to other characters that you play in Mario Kart? Because I've gotten really into Mario Kart recently. I am Mario 70% of the time. 70% of the time. And then the other times I... I'm Waluigi 80% 80, 80 of the time. Ooh, I like to either be Bowser or like, I kind of like to be the babies, like baby Mario oh, and baby yeah. Luigi. Because They're too they, light. Yeah, but they drift really well. Yeah, I actually think that the, heavy, the heavier characters drift better because they have more inertia. That's true. And they also can like, when they drift, they can like beat the shit out of another character. They can yeah. like wall up a character. Yeah, just bling. It's always fun to watch Bowser do. I like playing ba Bowser... Um, in Mario Superstar Baseball because that man is roided up. <laughs> that ba I'm, I'm accusing Bowser publicly of taking steroids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I mean, you know what? A lot of them are kind of roided. Uh, Petey yeah. Piranha. Yes. Donkey Kong. Dude, Donkey Kong. So Donkey Kong is roided up. Yeah. No, um, there's no way he achieved that naturally. Mm -mm. No. Yeah. No way. Reddit right in. But um, I'd like to say inertia is a beautiful name for a baby girl. Oh, that's so true. What would you name a baby girl? Inertia. Inertia. inertia? Um, what I if it was like taken? Calorie. Calorie. <laughs> um, alopecia. <laughs> for a boy, alopecia. Alopecia. Raptor. Ooh. Raptor. Oh, that's a yeah. That's good. Uh, trite. <laughs> <laughs> Trilobite. Trout. Trout. Mm. Trout is a good name for, for like, it's a good gender neutral name. Yeah. Trout. Salmon as well. Sam for short. Mm. Sam. Sam. But Sam is S-A-L-M. Yes. S-A-L-M. <laughs> You're being quicker than me today. Um, Sam. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, I'm Homeostasis or Stacy for short. Yeah, those those are good. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Focaccia. Mm, focaccia. Beautiful name Casey for an Italian for girl. for short. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Casey. Cassie. Is, 
No, no, no. I think Casey is is the yeah, abbreviation yeah, yeah. for focaccia. Cocky. Focaccia, sure. <laughs> cock for short. Bolognese. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Short for focaccia. Ed Koch Theater. <laughs> Ed Gosh. I met Ed Koch once. You did? Yeah. Whoa. What'd you guys talk about? Uh, he's not anime? alive, is he? No, he's dead. Oh. Uh, yeah, anime. <laughs> Rip. We talked about uh, fan fiction mostly. Oh, Harry he... Louie, are they together? <laughs> Harry <laughs> Louie? Harry and Louie from One Direction. They're together, they're in love. Aww. You know how everyone's like Harry Styles is queer baiting? Yeah. I think that's not true because I was I a One Direction queer. fan back in the day. And, were, Harry, and you were straight. <laughs> and I was so straight. I loved them in a straight way. Harry Styles and Louie, there were like rumors that they were together and there were fans of them called Larry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, even Larry. I've been made aware of this. Yeah. Wait, I'm just remembering the last time I had my liner was when we had uh, pho yesterday. I'm trying to, I was trying to think when was the last time we had it. Lucas lost his oh, jacket. Oh, but no, you wore that on the way home. Yeah, no, I definitely took it home. I know it's here. You have it. I just need to think where is it? You got to pray to St. Anthony. Lucas lost his jacket liner. So listeners, if you there's see it. There's weed in there. Hmm? There's weed in there. Okay, yeah, there is a joint. <laughs> There's it's marijuana. legal in the state of New York. It's okay. There's we can talk about it. There's marijuana in the jacket. If any of you find it, it's yeah. yours. You get to keep it. It's yours. No, no, bring it back, and I'll, and I'll, no, and and we will share it. Children, don't smoke weed. Don't, no, please no, don't. Do I hope we, I hope we have not made weed seem cool to anyone. Are we not supposed to? <laughs> right, I'm, I'm like, wait, your listeners are in high school. The listeners are in high school. Well, I, oh no, no, no! I, I will confidently I say I do. Weed. I didn't smoke weed till sophomore year of college. You should wait actually until your frontal lobe is developed. Yes. 25. We didn't do that. But we didn't do that. I did wait until college. I did wait until college. Yeah. Can't say no. the same. Uh, but I, I genuinely am very glad that I did not in high school. I am glad that I did. At LaGuardia, you were supposed to do it at like 12. So <laughs> like, no, I was late. At LaGuardia 12? But you're not at LaGuardia. 12. Yeah, but you're supposed to enter LaGuardia having already done every job. Um, <laughs> it's on your, it's on the application. You're actually supposed to enter like having already done a stint in rehab. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to ha enter LaGuardia having been on the show Euphoria and then coming back. <laughs> you're supposed to be 28 in freshman year. <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew that. You had to do a tour at Bellevue. Yeah, you Hospital. do. A tour, tour of Bellevue? Wait, what? Hospital. Hospital. <gasps> oh. Rehab. Yeah. <laughs> all, you kind of tour all the rehabs. Make yeah. friends with Lindsay Lohan. Just like, hey, make friends. You're going to be here. You're going to be here a while. <laughs> yeah. You, you kind of like make friends with B-list celebrity. You're like, oh my God, your life's not that different than mine. You guys like yeah. hang out. <laughs> and then you go to LaGuardia and you learn math. Was there anyone at LaGuardia where you were actually surprised by how nice they were? Nope. Okay, moving <laughs> you on. You need Azalea Banks. No, she was older than me. Oh, but it was interesting because this one teacher who I always thought was wrong about people was like, Azalea Banks is so crazy. Yeah, and she is, but he didn't recognize her genius. She, she, she wait, he didn't recognize her genius. Yeah, he, he was like, like, oh, she, she's so she talented. Went, no, like he was like, she went a little cuckoo. Like they were already kind of writing her off, which yeah. like I guess the, was. Yeah. Not wrong, but also really incorrect. <laughs> the chicken sacrifice room, you know, that she has in her house. She does? She has a closet where she sacrifices chickens. She rocks. What if she's just cooking? Yeah. Let her cook. <laughs> Let her cook. I want to be your friend so bad. Yeah. Azalea, come on the pod. Because if you think about it. <laughs> you guys are going to have beef with Azalea. <laughs> Add to, wait, her Wikipedia page has the long list of people she's had beef with. <laughs> like internet beef with. <laughs> Look it up. Okay. Oh my god. I, Chicken and beef? <laughs> I want to have beef with her. I want her to like roast the shit out of us. We're talking about cooking so much. Is Elliot Banks at Grove 34? Are you hungry? No, it's just she said roasting. Oh. Did you hear? And then we were talking about chicken, beef, roasting. I'm like, dude, this is the universe is telling me something. Get Azalea Banks at Grove 34. Dispute and con yeah, she'd be the best roaster. Dan Wicks, of all get time. on it. Fuck uh, Dan. I don't want to see Dan Wicks roast anymore. I want to see Azalea Banks <laughs> roast. <laughs> I want to see Dan Wicks roast Azalea Banks. Oh my god, my fuck elf on the shelf reel through cracked just got posted on IG. Sorry. Wait, okay. It doesn't say the list of people she's had beef with, but it names her disputes and controversies. Do you guys want to hear? Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Altercations with flight crew. Um, she went on a racist and homophobic rant about, against Zane Malik on Twitter. Yeah. 
Sky Jackson. The, um, the, kid, the, the child actor Sky Jackson? Yes. Incredible. The child. Um, yes, the, they talk about the dead chickens. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, there's something about eating a, a cat. Oh, uh, no, that's a euphemism. <laughs> wink, 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 wink. <laughs> Eat, munching box, chomping it, box. We were talking earlier off camera about how we don't like the. We never expected the word box to be in the lexicon. You never see that coming. No. You never see that word. I didn't see that you. coming when I was on the rise. I mean, growing up. I don't get it. Like, box of what? Like, because you can put stuff in Box of it? awesome? Maybe. List of. It's pretty. I would, I would happily call a vagina a box of awesome. Ugh, grow up. You'll never, you'd never have sex again. Like, I promise you. <laughs> I mean, like. What are you from 20? <laughs> you're from, like, 20, 20, 2011. 2011? Well, what, you know about you? the, wait, do you know about the Box of Awesome? No. What's it's box? like a subscription service uh, where you get, like, lots of different items of cool I stuff for you to. I thought you were just calling vaginas. I thought you were going to go down a girl and be like, that's box awesome. Of epic sauce. I didn't that's make epic. up the phrase. I was, I just, I remember a marketing thing I saw once. I was like. You know, if you have to call a vagina a box, box of awesome is is not that bad. You go down on her, but you can't even see her because you're wearing a fedora. <laughs> <laughs> What's the etymology of box? Like calling a vagina, like because you could put stuff in it. Ah, uh, because you got to break the seal. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Have we, have we your oh, that yet? was awful. What has, has your hymen been broken yet? Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I'm still waiting for the right horse. Just... No, what? No, you don't. <laughs> what? No, you guys know people break. Th- I'm not talking about fucking horses. You guys know that people break their hymens riding horses. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Like uh, no, but like also riding a bicycle. You yeah. could break it while riding the same. Yeah. Okay. See, yeah. See, I, I I don't know how to ride a bike. My hymen is intact. <laughs> it's never been broken. My hymen from... is deeply intact. No. <laughs> I've never had. Sex. I think I just googled why is vagina. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, what does it say when you say why is vagina? <laughs> what? Wait, I'm gonna ask Chat GPT why is vagina. Then they're gonna be like, that's against our standard. Hold on, practices. I'm on it. You ain't seen and shit I'm be yet. Like, Fuck you. Wait, while you pull that up. Okay, here's some of the people Azalea Banks has had beef with. Action Bronson, Adrian <laughs> Grenier. Wait, why? <laughs> Air Lingus, Angel Hayes, uh, Arca, ASAP Rocky, Australia, like the entire nation. By the way, uh, <laughs> ChatGPT was like, I don't know what you mean. Uh, is there something else I can help you with? Chicken? Think, yeah. I told you they're going to be like, we don't do that here. Yeah. Um, um, we don't do boxing. Caroline Polachek. Who is that? She's like an indie pop girly. No mm. reason for it to be for So her. hot you're hurting my feeling? Yes. Cheerless. What if I was like, oh, that <laughs> Polachek. Oh, that's the song that she sang. Dave okay. Chappelle, Donald Trump, <laughs> Doja Cat. She has range. Dr. Luke, Elon Musk, Eminem, uh, Erica Badu, F- FK Twigs, Grimes. I remember that. Israel. Good. Um, Jeffree Star, Julia Fox, Jung Kook from BTS, Kanye oh, West, wow. Kendrick Lamar, Kesha. I'm only, I'm not reading this all of them. This is an insane Avengers villains lineup for one person. If I omit any of them, it's it's not because I mean to. It's because we'd be here all day. Isn't it <laughs> weird that we're all in the same universe as all those people? They don't feel like they're in the same universe as me. They feel like they're in another universe. Yeah. Doesn't that, I don't, Olivia, do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. They don't, uh, like, Jung Kook. Fucking Donald Trump, Dave Chappelle, they're Elon in, Musk. That we're in the not. Fifth dimension. We're in such different cinematic universes from those people. They're in the fifth dimension, and we're in the third. I think that really is why when you meet them, you're like Jesus Christ, because you never expect to see them in your in front of you. I don't feel like Donald Trump's real. Like he's he can't be. I think he's real. I don't. I watched <laughs> The Apprentice as a kid. Can I say something that might get me canceled? Oh uh, yeah. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with The Apprentice. Okay. Yeah. Um. And my parents thought it was really funny that I loved Donald Trump. But I... <laughs> wait, wait, no, no, no. Describe why. But it's cause, just because he had a lot of money and power. I was like, I want to be like that. <laughs> I was like, that guy's cool. I had no idea about nothing. I didn't... They didn't... I was like five. I loved... Middle the, America be like. <laughs> I, gr- 
grew up in New York. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's crazy that you have the voice of so many Americans, though. No, I mean, well, it was, uh, and then I loved The Apprentice. I love, well, I love reality TV. I loved The Apprentice. My my parents thought it was so funny, and my uncle worked on Wall Street and like near Trump Towers. And one, I guess my mom tells me this all the time. But, like one time, I was like, Oh my God, you have you met him? To my <laughs> uncle because he had a meeting in Trump Towers. He told me about it. And then they, he got me a water bottle from Trump Towers. Mm-hmm. And it had like his face on it. There's a lot of people around New York who like have met him. Yeah. I think it's just, I think it's just the one tower. I don't think it's multiple. Trump no, there's ta- a couple Trump there's Towers. There's a few Trump oh, Towers. Oh, oh, but I mean in New York. Yeah. No, there's, there's a couple in New York. Are there multiple? I, I there's don't think one on Wall Street. I think I'm just saying Trump Towers the way I say Squid Games. You're saying there's a second Trump Tower? There's a few Trump <laughs> Tower. <laughs> Luke, Luke, we'll do the meme. <laughs> we have to clip that. A second plane has. Uh, a second there's a second Trump tower. tower. A second tower has hit the Trump Tower. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Someone give me a book. I need to read to kindergartners. <laughs> I um. But somewhere in my attic, my mom keeps telling me. I think they threw it out when we cleaned out the attic. But my mom keeps telling me one year for Christmas they got me a Donald Trump action figure. Wow. Did I? I didn't play with it, but. I get it. The, the, Wait, did it? What kind of action? Is it like moving arms and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it, does it talk? I have no idea. I don't remember, but there was a Donald Did you Trump press like a button thing. and it goes, you're fired? Probably. Like, probably. Probably. That would be a good toy. That is a good toy. A little toy that says you're fired. Uh, I'd I'm love sure, that. I'm sure they've made hundreds. Let me tell you guys something. Yeah. I really loved The Apprentice. I thought in my, in my little kid brain, mm-hmm. I was like, Donald Trump Jr. is the emperor with no clothes. He doesn't know what he's doing. Mm. I knew. But I thought Ivanka, I think because my mom like would be like, she seems so cool. I would be, I was always like, yeah, Ivanka's cool. But in my head, I never trusted her. But Donald, (laughs) Mm? I think the thing is that the editing on that show was so good because Mark Burnett later on like when he was running for president was like being asked about like releasing footage from the apprentice that was like unreleased of like donald trump saying like lots and lots of crazy stuff like slurs and everything and mark burnett was like yeah every day we edited that show to make it look like he was making any sense (laughs) so it's like that is yeah oh my god that's probably the genius of the apprentice is that you're taking like trumpisms and you're putting them together as a created a coherent narrative and he already talks in such a kind of interesting way mm-hmm. that when you make the message good in the edit yeah it probably rocks yeah oh yeah oh you get a, you get a good background track on it yeah, yeah. a good you background get pickups tra- you get yeah. all that stuff that um, really is the strength of editing i think mark burnett should run for president yeah, <laughs> yeah. Survivor, a good editor yeah. yeah the apprentice yeah what else what other stuff has he done but like survivor alone that's yeah. been on for 46 seasons i know and it's uh, it's so it's good. Still going. You know, Jeff Probst quit Survivor because they wouldn't make him an executive producer. Right, and then he only came back when he was. And he came, he came back because they were like, "Well, we're not going to do the show without him." Yeah. <laughs> so they were like, "Fine, we'll give it to you." And then he started making like new twists. Did he wait? What did he do? I don't know if it was him necessarily, but like, I think that when he came back was when the twists got crazier. So. Yeah. It, in, it, I always surmised, and maybe I'm wrong, that he was the one responsible for being like, let's make it crazier. I think mm. I think that's true. Yeah, I think it's true as well. I'm still so new to Survivor, so I'm learning about the lore. It's yeah. so good. Just watch the first season, and then you don't have to watch the few after that yet. But like, I think watching like season one, and then season like 31, what is it, Kagayan? Or what season was that? Um, 29? 29, and then 20, Game... This, yeah. The first Game Changers was also really good. Um, Cambodia. San Juan del Sur, also very good. I watched... Um, um, season 11. I watched the one with Mike White. Yeah. I've, I've watched... 28th season. Kagayan. Okay. I watched Survivors 1 through 20. Okay. And I've like watched and rewatched those. And then I like for some reason stopped watching when it got less like nostalgic for me, I yeah. think. Because I was a kid when the old Survivor was on. So when I was watching the new Survivor, it was the nostalgia thing. And then when it started getting more twisty, I was like, I don't actually care about the show, you know? Yeah. But then I watched um, Heroes vs. Or no, um, uh, David vs. Goliath. Yeah. The, and I was like, oh, this show still rocks so hard. Yeah. That yeah. season's really good. I think going back to like the earlier seasons, I think Palau season 10 is really good. And so is... Uh, like the rice? It's 
Palau? Palau? Palau's a place. Yeah. I thought you meant like Palau, like Pilau rice. No. Like P-L-I-A-F? But rice is always That's like a pilau. huge controversy in the No, but it, they also, it's also sometimes it's spelled Pilau. Pilau? Yeah. Palau is in... Palau is somewhere. Oceania. Yeah. And don't they film them all in like Fiji now? Because they got yeah. a deal? They just yeah. have their own island now. They have uh, Mamanuka. <laughs> they have their own fucking island. Yeah, Survivor Mamanuka Islands was maybe like 29 or 30. No, 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 no. It was later. Um, oh, yeah. like... Pilau rice. Yeah. Wow. It is like that. It is there. Pilau rice. P-A-L-A-U? P-I-L-A-U. Okay. Well, the other one is Jatia the Jatia would have dumped that. Jatia would have dumped that. <laughs> Fuck her. Don't fucking say that name around me. I she fucking was... hate Jatia. That is so much. She's so funny. <laughs> when she dumped the rice, <laughs> dead to me. She 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 by doing that she set off like a butterfly effect. Like everything has gone hill from down there. You got to think she like she didn't dump the rice. Trump wouldn't have. Been will president. the choices I make make the world better? I don't think she's asked herself that question, and I think less of people who don't. It was kind of cunty though. I love it. <laughs> I kind of love it. We're talking about her right now. Yeah, I look hate at that. her. No, she's a bad person. We shouldn't talk about Icarus bad people. Fame. It's all about the. Fame. No, but she's a bad person. The Lady Gaga. No, famous. she wasted food. Yeah. She's terrible. She's a yeah, bad but person. She did it. To, she did it to punish her her teammates, and they didn't. Vote and she, and she and got they voted off. Have you never seen Shakespeare, Lucas? Yes, they're <laughs> full of bad people. That's true. No, but here's the thing: is that there are characters written by one guy to create a cohesive story. She is a person one who guy? exists. Huh? One guy. <laughs> Philip Shakespeare was a one guy. <laughs> wow. Wow. You don't know. You don't know. William Shakespeare was ten thousand non-binary people <laughs> all together, <laughs> all named Soup. <laughs> William Shakespeare was a commune. <laughs> William Shakespeare was a commune of people named Soup, Oak, Button, <laughs> Starch. This is funny. How crazy can you get through the Shakespeare theories? But William Shakespeare was Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> he never died. He just kind of lived for a while. William he just got a little taller. <laughs> Azalea Banks is William Shakespeare reincarnated. Yes. Well, we know that. Not that's even true. reincarnated. He just waited <laughs> until he, until never. You know how like all species evolved to become crabs. Yeah. Every people, every person, if you live long enough, becomes of Azalea Banks. Yeah. I hope so. I hope I live long enough to see myself become Azalea Banks. How long have we been recording? We've been going for forty-two minutes. Well, let's do let's some submission. Yeah. yeah. All right. I will pull them up. Said, well, I'm trying to remember go. now what we were talking about. That's a great question. Uh, All right. Survivor? Survivor. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, and Jatia and how much I hated Jatia. I want to say. And disliking people and oh, where, that, yeah. comes where that comes from. The conscious choice and whether it was unconscious. Oh, oh, my God. I thought my mom said this in the family group chat. Me and I got my little brother of his own Funko Pop. Oh. He loves that shit. He's, he thinks it's like Beanie. It, it's That's like his such Beanie a good babies. gift. He You're a great sister. And I got him a shelf to display eight of them. But I was like, but like you can make your own. And my friend did that for like our, our other friend. Um, it's not cool to own more than four Pago Pops, by the way. I own four. Lies. Get as many as you fucking want. Get so many Funko Pops. I love Be that. Be that person. <laughs> I love that you did that. You were like, here's the rule. Here's the and rule. I follow it. And I, and I, and I made it. <laughs> I exceed it. No, I, I, I reach it. I reach my goal that I made up. Anyways, um, <laughs> my brother has so many, and he thinks he's like he thinks they're gonna go like. It's so funny because he's like not this like nerdy type. Like he's that little nerd inside. He's still that little nerd with little glasses at like eight years old, like s stuck in front of the TV watching Naruto. Aww. He still watches Naruto in front of the TV, just like. But he's like also six four and also like two something, two hundred something pounds. Huge, like full beard, so much hair. Like he's a, he's like the definition of a of a of a dude. Yeah. In in like a in like a convention like a like yeah. the American conven the American convention. Yeah. I love a dude it. of the American persuasion. A dude of the he's a dude of the American persuasion like like yeah dude guy. Yeah, I know because he watches anime. And now he and he he, he's, he does little nerdy shit and I'm like, okay, enough about my brother. <laughs> um, I feel like anime has crossed into like. I feel like a lot of people watch anime. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. A lot of people have Share Funko Pops, too. Yeah. I didn't realize how many people have a Funko Pop. I have a question. Are Funko Pops, the, the craze around it, built 
solely because you think they're going to be valuable, really valuable one day? Or is there another aspect to them? Yes I, and no. Okay. I would say. Because, like, oh. I, that's not why I collect mine. Like, I have mine because they're from shows I really love. Well, uh, two of them okay. I was gifted. And I think they're just, like, cute little figures. Action figures are, like, a big thing in, like, like the the fandom community my roommate has so that many is action. true i wasn't thinking about other my like yeah has so many action figures some of the, sometimes it's like hey this thing is gonna appreciate but i think you mostly get into it because you like the thing you don't buy something s- specifically for it to appreciate yeah. um but if it does it's a bonus but also i think people are like oh this is going to appreciate but my bro- my little brother thinks they're gonna like go for re- like resell i don't think they are I don't yeah my brain can't wrap my head around action figures and yet i collect baseball cards yeah which feels very similar my room has like two glass display cases in his room of just like action figures and one shelf full of mandalorians oh my god and i was like that's crazy dude is he single <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> of course Whoa. not man like that's off the market no yeah. and she's been to the house um, wow no i have four funko puffs though uh two from two two are like the sometimes they're really ugly like that's kind of nice yeah the signature style sometimes they're really ugly but there's like a that's so progressive of you it's <laughs> someone's gotta buy the ugly action someone's figures buy, gotta buy the ugly action figures but mine are cute i have lucy and ricky from i love lucy Aww. that my my mom got me and then i also got um tom servo and crow which are the puppets from mystery science theater 3000 nice which is i love that show but um they look cute as is the funko i'll, I'll insert a photo <laughs> nice me and my nice. funko pops so yeah. you but you collect baseball cards yeah i don't think i have anything i you collect don't... really what do you think i collect I think you... oh you have... i collect a lot of weird you stuff have a lot of dvds and you have tchotchkes i you do have tchotchkes have... i've got a lot of tchotchkes little things yeah yeah Art? also i just got those googly eyes for that spider plant i love uh-huh. i i noticed her and I, uh, uh, yeah she's cute i'm not gonna, I, I, I didn't comment because you're you, you can't comment on a woman's like she's had some work done hey but she looks great no, that's what I'm saying, and I don't want to like. She's hitting the strip. I I don't want to go up to her and performatively be like, "Hey, you look great," because then she might think I'm like judging her. Wait, yeah. wait, hold on. I'm gonna. Okay, we're role playing. You're you. I am that plant right now. Just okay. and and compliment me. How would you? You, you look great. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. That's... Why, why, I noticed that you were like cowering in fear across the room. <laughs> yeah. Why, why were you afraid to say that to me? Um. No. There's a. Um. There is a bomb threat. <laughs> so I was cowering. There's a bomb cowering. threat? Yeah. Thank you for telling me so much. Do you want to be best friends? Yes. Can oh, my God. How do we get out of here? Um, improv. Who's attacking? Yes, and. <laughs> <laughs> I'm attacking the yes and of it all. We're attacking. You should do We're improv. attacking. That's, sir, a second yes has just hit the and. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to listener submissions. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> okay, listener submissions. All right, <laughs> dear co host. I am struggling with my feelings because I feel like I'm in platonic love with my BFF. I know that sounds odd, but what I mean is I understand they don't want to date, and TBH, I don't want to date them either. Kind of. Like, I want to spend time with them and tell them how much they mean to me and how much I don't want to be without them. Like, I want to be neighbors with them or roommates so that we so that we see each other every day and I can just experience their presence. But it feels weird to express. And maybe what I want to do is date them. But I don't see myself doing all the other things around dating, like POA or intimacy. What's POA? Penis. <laughs> On On anus. anus. (laughs) (laughs) That was kind of magic. (laughs) Pejorative (laughs) otters angling. Hey, hey Siri. What does POA mean in terms of love and affection? That's a good question. No, that's PDA. This is POA. Maybe that wasn't a good. Maybe Maybe, oh, maybe that was a typo. The acronym was a typo. Where's the Where's the O and the P on the on the and the D. No. <laughs> the D is too far away from the O for it to be. If I had a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. The D is too far away from the O on the keyboard. Shut up. <laughs> P 
POA. Power <laughs> of attorney. Um, hey. Power of attorney. Power. But that's not what I'm doing. But like, I don't want to do all the other stuff while dating. Like, if they, if they're in, uh, like brain, if they're like brain dead, take over power of attorney of the person. Like, I don't want to do all that other stuff. That's an insane thing to jump to with a friend you have a crush on. I I'd be good. like, yeah, I just, I just don't know if when I, when I do go brain dead, if this, I think this is a person for me. Yeah. This is, I, this is the guy. Okay. I'm rereading um, to get the when context. you know, you know. Okay. P- so. P O A. Wait, can we? Was it finished? No, it's not done. <laughs> okay, read it. Okay. Uh, but I don't see myself doing all the other things around dating like POA or intimacy. I just want to be around them more and be able to express how much they can, how much they mean. Yeah. Oh, let me say that again. I just want to be around them more and be able to express how much they mean. Should I express to them how I feel or should I just keep on the way we have been as close friends? P.S. They do like me and has outright said I would date. I would date you, but couples don't last forever. And I want this to last what? forever. What did I write this post? This is a person friend zoning themselves. Um, <laughs> this is what I do all the time. She's my she's such a good friend. I just want to be around her so much and I want to hold her hand mm. and smell her hair, but Talk like in shit. a platonic way in like a cool way where she doesn't like think it's weird that I'm doing that, you know, in like a cool, chill way. Wait, so you just don't like but they said that they don't want to date this person, but they just love them. Tell your friends. I you, think they're fourteen. You love your friends. I, I think they're yeah, I think they're I, I think, think they're, they're fourteen. In love. I think they are in love and they but they yeah, they're you trying to preserve what they have. But Tell your also, friends you love them all the time. That is also true. If you love your friend, Tell you them. go and you hang out with your... You hmm. say to them, you don't know how many friendships I've made from just being like, you're so fun to hang out with. Absolutely. But, and then Just be honest with how you feel about their vibe and if they respond in kind, it's beautiful. Yeah, you got it made. And true. it sounds like you... Because the other person literally said, I w- like... I have similar feelings, but I also care more about our relationship as it is and don't want to ruin stuff. You guys are at the same level. Wait, yeah. so they don't want to date? They just, so. They're afraid of the co- of what may happen okay, if they Okay, then don't date. date. Just be friends. Or just be whatever it is organically. Yeah. Because mm. whatever's going to happen is going to happen. If you are meant to be friends, you'll be friends. If you're meant to date, you'll date. That that's what's confusing me is like I I love this person so much but I don't I don't want to date them, and they love me so much but they kind of want to date me. Just I know don't date each other. I see it because I know that I've personally been in situations where I'm like literally have just talked myself out of being like I want to date this person and just been like they're such a good friend. Yeah, Aww. like I guess people do that. I'm like I think if I wanted to like date someone or like at least hook up with them, I'd know off the bat, right? Not off the bat, but like, I'd be able to differentiate that. Is it, does this person want to have sex with the other person? No, I think they just want to. Okay. You know when you like. You could just do what you're doing. You know when you like someone a lot, you just want to like, whether whether it's as a best friend or as a partner, Mm -hmm. you just want to be around each other. Yeah. I've, I've made new genuine platonic friends that way of just being like. Oh, absolutely. That's how Juliet and I met. We became, it was never anything between okay. us, but we would spend every single day together in college. Yeah. We like, live, we like decided, we were like, we're going to live in each other's rooms. And we did that for like four months. Everyone thought we were dating. It became way weirder than we were dating. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I also believe it. I've seen you guys yeah. together. I'm like, oh, I get this completely. Oh, that, oh my God. What you're yeah. describing, listener, is a best friend. Yes. Yeah. And having a, be- having a best friend is really cool. So you should do it. But also, if you guys end up dating, you sh- you can do that, too. Yeah. It's also it's OK if your feelings are a little confusing. Just honor whatever it is you're feeling and don't so lie true. to yourself. Don't lie to other people. We crushed this one. Oh, my God. That was, that was <laughs> I, I'm like, I still don't. I do understand it, but I don't. Anyway. Okay. All right. Let's do. All right. Next uh, submission. Next submission. We only have one more. Yeah. Um, Let's see. Where did it go? Oh, I sent them to you. I was in the Meerkats chat. Um. Here we go. Okay. My best friend fucked their ex while still with their girlfriend and then offered a three way between the three of us. They're kind of hot, but I'm engaged to my boyfriend of two years. What do I do? Wait, can you repeat that? This sounds fake, but like, if this is true, this is crazy. Can you repeat that from the top? My best friend. Okay. Fucked their ex while still with their girlfriend. Okay. Then the best friend and the girlfriend offered a three-way to the writer 
even okay. though the writer is in a relationship with someone else. Okay. The writer then says, they're kind of hot. So the writer's like, I'm considering this threesome, even though my best friend is cheating. Uh, but I'm engaged to my boyfriend of two years. Is your best friend cheating or are they open? Like, is that... No, I think that the best uh, friend is cheating. They would have said that. No, yeah, it would have been, been, been in the language. And the best friend was like, cheat with me. Yes. Yeah. Cheat with me next. <laughs> like, so she's like, cheat with me next. The girl's like, well, I would cheat on you, but then I'd be cheating... On, on my, my guy. guy. <laughs> Makes you wonder how big this circle is going to grow. Go home, watch the movie Hall Pass. <laughs> just and have... then think about... Think about um, no, don't think about it. Just enjoy a nice Owen Wilson movie. <laughs> and then think about relationship conventions in this day and age. Because fuck them. What is the movie Hall Pass? It's the movie with Owen Wilson. And, and maybe Jason Sudeikis. Jason Sudeikis. Yeah. And they get hall passes for a week from their wives or whatever. And then they, they fuck, fuck women. A hall pass is like, um, like it's like, um, oh, I know what it is. That's yeah. when you're like, oh, yeah. I love the celebrity. Okay, they can be your hall pass. Yeah, kind of thing. it's like hall pass from the relationship. But you can, f- you can just ask for for a day pass. Just ask for a day pass. Yeah, you don't need to fuck just one person. So you would. Do, I enjoy what, it. You're saying to. <laughs> I mean, you can. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But that option. Oh no, it's so and it's so lovely when that when that happens. <laughs> And it's so lovely when you're two saying people the love option of an open relationship does exist. Yeah, it does exist. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. 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 But, I mean, oh, my God. I was talking to my mom about this yesterday. She was being really funny. I was like, um, uh, I don't know that I'd ever do an open relationship. And I was in the middle of a sentence and she goes, yeah, don't. <laughs> you can. Um, I was like, Mom, I have no prospects. I'm not yeah. actually considering it. I just <laughs> she just goes. Don't. Your mom was like, no, I, I, no. <laughs> so embarrassing but like if it's like a no no if it's like a no from any party don't do it maybe you yeah. should tell your friend's boyfriend that they're no no is that you, that's that. your best friend no yeah. yeah no so you're just gonna write into a podcast about it anyways um <laughs> i don't know don't just don't cheat on your girlfriend or ask everyone invite your boyfriend wait why I w- invite okay, your boyfriend the person who well i don't know if the boyfriend is invited maybe the other one the other two were just like hey we're oh, only boyfriend. into you wait the boyfriend's an uggo? not this not this fuck <laughs> the boyfriend's an uggo maybe <laughs> now i'm thinking well not an uggo but no. like an acquired uggo an acquired taste well hold on well hold on hold on the boyfriend's medium ugly <laughs> no i'm going into this story i'm assuming they're all so hot <laughs> <laughs> i'm casting this as a, as a I, 24 movie i think they're all beautiful in kind of like a like french way Okay, so this is a very, like, French tale I'm reading this as. My best friend <laughs> fuck their ex while still with their good friends. D- am I doing... That's not a good French accent, is okay, it? Okay, let me, let me try to do it in my French accent. Okay. My best friend fucked their ex while still with their girlfriend and then offered a three-way between the three of us. They're kind of hot, but I'm engaged to my boyfriend of two years. What I do know. I do? So, uh, don't cheat on your boyfriend. Oh, they're asking us for an answer. Yeah, they're like, the should whole I point do of this podcast. No, don't do it. Don't this do is, it. No, these sound don't like. Don't do it or ask permission. Ask for a hall pass. No, it, uh, definitely, like, if you're considering it, then ask your boyfriend. Yeah. He may give you the green light, in which case, hey, fiance, bombs away. And that's the other thing about the story. Why have they been engaged oh for two God. years? Wait, that's a long time to be fiance engaged. It feels two, very French. Uh, oh, but is yeah. it, well, it's well, we've engaged, been busy they, with a virus. Have they been together for longer, or have they been together for two years? It doesn't say. My fiance of two years. But that's a little fast to be someone's fiance. Two years, you don't even yeah. know each other. Yeah. Boyfriend of two years. Okay. Boyfriend of two years and now engaged. I guess people that's do it. get married. After people get married. For two years. My parents yeah. got engaged like six months after meeting. I think it's and I was, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah, my my. Uh, parents also they got engaged within a year of dating each other whoa uh, yeah and it was like i mean my mom had been married before but it was just like uh yeah, my dad had been married before it was just like perfect my mom had yeah yeah there were little oldies yeah they were late 20 i'm like oh wait no they're not they weren't oldies i just feel like we <laughs> they weren't think about, oldies at all we think about marriage differently <laughs> <Shit. Yeah. laughs> I'm like, my parents were so old when they got married my mom was 30 my dad was 32 <laughs> <laughs> ancient <laughs> and they were old when they wow god damn it my age fucking oh. losing their joints and shit at 29 oh yeah. god my mom had me at the old age of 34 same yeah. what 34 34 34 no, uh oh. <laughs> 30 uh my mom was 39 actually whoa yeah. 
I just am. St- I was saying Varsity 30 mom. is so old. <laughs> Your mom looks good. 30 is the new 41. Here's the thing 39 is great. 30 yeah. is old. Which you know why 30 is the age I am? So 31 is young. Does that make sense? Yes. 31 is young. 32 is young. 30 where I am yeah. old. Oh, it's because old. like you're at, is it because like you're at the end of one bracket, but yeah. then you become at the it's beginning like a, of another? It's like a, um, like a benchmark. I just feel like I'm still adjusting to turning 30. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about it? I feel ancient. <laughs> Everyone else has the two. Everyone else gets the fucking two. I don't think you're ancient. No, I don't think you're ancient. Obviously, I'm not. And then I'm gonna listen to this in five years and be like, "What the fuck was yeah. I talking?" No, but about? I also but feel I like also it. think about that because I'm approaching and, and like this would make me want to throw up. If I was cresting, yeah, I'm cusping. You're it's crowning. It's crowning. <laughs> I'm about to fucking give birth I'm about to, to give thirty. Birth to 30. <laughs> I just have this horrible fear of aging. Do you guys have that? I a little bit. Um, my skin. Mm. Mm. And I think that's just conventional beauty standards Amer- the american convention i think so yeah, too. do you guys go to the american convention this year the Amer- <laughs> we need to call the episode that <laughs> have we have we been to the american convention the american convention is the lovely. french represent- pretty good name the for french it. rep at the american convention is <laughs> like <laughs> um my best friend cheated on her <laughs> my best friend did fucked her ex while still with her boyfriend is cheating now is asking me to cheat with her and her boyfriend yeah. they tried to submit to the american convention last year but they didn't get past <laughs> but they got in this year oh boy did they get in this year <laughs> they really tightened up their act Jesus Christ. all right how long have we been recording <laughs> we just got an hour all right is that uh, it um yeah that we could do i know we're not gonna no i'm i, I no no <laughs> i work here now <laughs> Do you guys do self perception corner on the solo episodes? Not really. No. I work here now. Yeah. I just got myself. I just got my self perception checkup. <laughs> you just. It, it, we we have self perception ink <laughs> that, that it checks people in every day to be like, are you okay for this segment? Self perception ink. Mm. I yeah. want a shirt that says that. Yeah. And it's, al- it's always always funny watching guests be like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. Or they go, ooh. You know, I love a little. Co- I want a compilation of that being like, fuck. Because every every week without fail, people are like, "Oh, I'm scared." <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is a fun little. I, I love the little tease of fear. It, I like it. It it's yields fun. incredible results, though. It does. Like having someone sit there and be like, "Oh, I've been like just talking out of my ass for the last hour. Now I have to come back and bring it back to me." Like what? I it kind of it's kind of like a break between like your anxiety and then you kind of just go carefree or whatever and then you come back and you have to look at yourself at a, like immediately as a blank slate that's crazy you have to watch it you watch people's like body language change too. yeah I don't know if you notice that but mm. people get a little more like shy oh yeah closed in. or like or a very uh good posture just yeah you allow people to take a break from themselves with mm. the banter and then they have to come back to it and it's just like yeah, yeah. breaks over breaks, breaks over, over buddy and I was so out of my head Back that on I the floor. didn't even have any insecurities. So I think a lot of people speak positively about themselves. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Because we're trying to get people like, don't, yeah. don't think. You yeah. Know, just, just so good. Say whatever you want. Oh, my God. This podcast is so cerebral. We're crushing it. We're crushing it. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Guys, join us for the Patreon. Bye bye. Mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> and and baby too, <laughs> mom and dad and baby. <laughs> and baby it's too. fun for the whole family. All right, bye. See you <laughs> I love that we went nonverbal at the end. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. Hey. Did, did yours hit? I what? think yours hit. Did yours? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, there was a minute. There. I just never. I just never There's announced it. In a flow <laughs> There's we should do this more often. There, there was a minute there where you were like you were like not le- Gabby and I took the edible like maybe 20 minutes earlier yeah so we were we were both on like this weird flow state and then you ho- you just hopped on the train <laughs> all right that rocked that was <laughs> <laughs>